Who's that guy? Does anybody know? Um, two questions. What did he make his money in? Movies? Bobby bodybuilding? Property? Some of the same property? Made his money in property. Has anyone seen Pumping Iron? Any Pumping Iron watchers? You fucking must be used to. <laughs> um, yeah, <coughs> so him and little uh, Franco, they used to train together. They'd win some competitions, they'd get the money, um, and they'd stick it into property. His first investment was six units, which he scraped together $27,000. He sold it for 168000 and went on to purchase a block of apartments. And he still invests in property now. They call it real estate, obviously, because of uh, in America. Um, but yeah, he made his first money from property, and not many people know that. Does anybody know where McDonald's, what their model is? People think it's burgers, fries, and milkshakes. It's all property. The whole model of McDonald's He's making money from property. So what they do is they use the, the, um, the trade of the burgers, the milkshakes, the actual food and drink in order to acquire property. And acquiring the property, how many properties do you think McDonald's have got? I don't know, but I know it's a fucking lot. I've never been somewhere where they've... Where, I've been to fucking Iraq and there was one in there. I couldn't believe it. I don't think there's... They don't have any in many places. Um, but their models... How many? 36,000 restaurants. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, smart. Yeah. And has anyone ever seen a McDonald's go out of business? <laughs> Did they, uh? <laughs> that That says it all, though. <laughs> Have you? Mm hmm. Yeah, but then models to uh, his, his property um, as well. Richard Branson, his, um, his biggest um, ROI when asked of all the things that he's done, the biggest thing that he made money on, massive amounts of money, I think it was a 33,000% ROI he got. Does anyone know what it was on? Necker Island, yeah. He bought it for something like, um, I think he bought it for a few hundred thousand and it's now worth 60 million. It's a 33,000 percent ROI he's had on his money. And he said that that's his biggest money earner he's ever had. Of all, all the things he's ever done, he says that was his biggest return. Uh, <clears throat> Another thing with Arnie. Does anyone know what he'd done around his... Um, he actually set a 50-year goal. Does anyone know that? 50-year goal that he set. And it said that he was going to go into bodybuilding. He was going to make money from his bodybuilding to put into property. His property was going to make him rich and allow him to do bodybuilding full-time. He was then going to become the best bodybuilder the world's ever seen, which was then going to take him to America which was going to make him a movie star, and then he was going to be president of America. Now, he didn't quite do it. He was the governor of California, wasn't he? Do you think he sits at home reflecting on his life, going, oh, for fuck's sake, that's a bit of shit. 
<laughs> Have you heard the terminology reach for the stars and hit the moon? That's a pretty impressive 50-year goal, would you, sir? Uh, what he's done and um, how, adapt, like, um, how different all of those different things are which he, um, at the highest level. Does anybody actually listen to any of his stuff, any of his motivational stuff? Anyone listen to that? You guys? Yeah? Um, check him out on YouTube. Um, he's got some really powerful videos. Uh, he has his six rules to success. And no surprise, the kind of in the discipline model, most of them. You'll just, you'll recognize them as different things. So it didn't surprise me when I heard them. Um, but yeah, he's got um, a really unique way of looking at things. And what he actually says is, um, he always shoots for goals that are unbelievable, that are unrealistic. That's one of the things he says. He sets unrealistic goals. He says, because if nobody else has done it, great. I'll be the first person to do it. And this is what you've got to look at. So yesterday when I talked around the smart goals of achievable and realistic... <laughs> Uh, we had a guy, Kev McCauley. He's done elite. He's active in the groups. Anyone know Kev? Sport with him, yeah. Great guy, Kev. When Kev done elite, um, he actually said, when you taught the three day and I was on it and you talked about achievable and realistic, I didn't really believe that part. It didn't really wash for me. He said, I just couldn't get my head around that. He said, but I get it now. Like, once I pushed him on elite... He said, because I didn't think we could go get the £80,000 uh, investment. That, to me, was unachievable. It was unrealistic. And he was the first group that we'd done it with. And the fact that he'd done it in the room and he didn't think he'd be able to do it, he said, I get it now. I'm always going to set goals that are kind of in reach of where I believe they're at. And you set me a goal that was way beyond what I thought was achievable or realistic. And I'd done it. And he shared that with the, uh, with the room.